this video I will be showing you how to format a USB drive so that you can install a system image restore onto it. As these USB drives are formatted, they are formatted as a FAT32 drive and to be able to make the recovery system image these would need to be formatted as NTFS so this video I will show you how to format a USB drive Okay, now that the USB flash is installed, go to the start menu. Type in disk management. Or you could type in create and format hard disk partitions but by typing disk it pulls this up in the search results so we'll click on create and format hard disk partitions okay now you'll see the list of drives installed and right here file system you can see the USB drive that is labeled volume E is a FAT32 format so for this system image we will need this formatted to NTFS like the others okay so we'll click on the E drive and if you right click go down to format and it will pop up a warning saying that all data will be lost and click yes I'm going to label this system image restore and change it to NTFS. And click OK and yet another warning about losing data so after we clicked yes on that last warning message it shows formatting under the status now it shows healthy okay so after trying to create the system image restore on the formatted USB we have received a warning message showing the drive is not a valid backup location so now to correct this what we need to do is go back into the USB drives properties and make several changes. So we will close this, go 
to the search bar and type in disk. Click create and format hard disk partitions. This is where we originally formatted the USB. Okay, so I renamed mine System Image Restore. Right click on that and go down to Properties. Okay, so now click the Sharing tab and we can see that the USB drive is not shared. Go to Advanced Sharing click on that and check the share this folder box go to apply then click permissions now you want to make sure everyone is highlighted and go down to full control check the box under allow apply hit ok we'll apply that again hit ok now you can see this network path what you need to do is copy and we will paste that in the next step so we'll go ahead and copy this okay we can close now go back to system restore which I have open here so back up in restore tab Create a system image. So we will change this and we will now click on a network location. We get a warning message. Backed up data cannot be securely protected for a network target. Just ignore that. Hit select. And this is where you will paste that network path don't click browse okay here you need to fill out your credentials and I will pause the video here while I do that and when this is completed I will check okay and I'll start the video back once I have clicked okay okay I put in my network credentials and if you are having trouble figuring out what your network credentials are that is what you use to log in to your modem or into your internet connection so now I have those credentials applied I will go down to the next tab click that okay so now we can select which drives that we want to include in the backup I'm just I'm going to click them all which I only have one choice of which one I want to include or not which is my hard drive everything else is already selected I have no choice if I want to deselect those so I'm going to click next okay so now I can confirm my backup settings and you should be able 
two also. Backup location is that network path on the USB drive. And pay attention here because it says the backup could take up to 27 gigabytes of disk space. I just purchased a fresh USB drive that was 64 gigabytes. So I should be clear to create this system image without running out of disk space. So I'll go ahead and click the start backup. I have edited the rest of this so you don't have to wait for the installation. At this point, you have the option to create a system repair disk. I don't have a disk drive on this computer, so I will be clicking no. But if you do, and you want this system repair disk, click yes and follow the instructions. So here I clicked no and the backup completed successfully for the system image restore onto the USB drive and I will be going in further showing how much space that system image took up on the USB drive itself. At this point, we can see the system image restore used a total of 18.5 gigabytes out of 60 gigabyte USB drive. So this will conclude the video. I hope this helped you create a system image restore on a USB drive. Thank you all for watching.